As I said earlier, I'm here because of Nadozie, eh? the prince of Obago Silly Kingdom. The elders and the people gathered to crown him king after the death of his father. He collapsed right in front of the people and the elders. I was told that everything is possible at Bakalan. Someone directed me to you. What? What are we doing here? <laughs> Those that told you everything is possible in our Paka land didn't lie. Okay, okay. Indeed, everything is possible. Okay. So, what, what, what is this place? This is the sacred Apaka stream and its source of powers in Akwaka. If you fetch from this water, your prince shall be better once he drinks the water. I'm a warrior, let me remind you. Telling a warrior to fetch water is nothing. It's the easiest. Anybody can do that. But if you insist, you can go. Allow anyone to fetch freely from this stream. Just, just what, what do I do? What do I do? Beat the dragon huh? and fetch the water. Is that ever possible? Huh? Some men have done it in the past and they succeeded. Now listen to me. Huh? That water will save your brains. Huh? Now go and fetch the water. Hmm. Uh, see, see, I don't have any intention to sell the water and make money. See, I want to use it to save a dying man. Just that. Uh, please, uh, let's cooperate. Uh, just to save a dying man. If the prince of Obago sees the one lion sick, then I should be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Father is Ezugo Belonoji, and he is our crown prince. We had gathered that very day for him to select a maiden as wife before we crown him as king when he suddenly collapsed before everybody and since then he has been sick we have sent for all the medicine men in our kingdom and none has been able to make him rise <sighs> we learnt you are the greatest and that's why we sent for you what do we do? Blue eyes. The evil lady with blue eyes. Uh, what do you mean by blue eyes? And uh, who is this lady with the blue eyes? Uh, 
the impression I get is that you do not love me. You do not trust me. And you do not want to have anything to do with me. Do you mind telling me why it is so? My name is Prince Unadoze. I am from Obiago City. I do not know how I got here. I also do not know what I'm doing here. You sound as if you have a choice. I spent a lot of spiritual energy to bring you down to this place. You were to select a maiden in your kingdom and be crowned king. But I stopped it. Because you are all that I see. And I want to make you mine. I'm sorry. I must marry from my kingdom because that's the only way I can be king. You don't know. I am Ugwana, the bright morning star that shines in Ubeleke. You consumed me from afar. And I want to make you mine. Do not stand in front of me. I repeat, do not stand in front of me talking about others. I'm sorry, but I cannot be yours. Do not drag it, Prince Nadosia. It is not possible for anyone to have a man who has already consumed me. Accept to be mine, and I shall be forever happy. I am Prince Nadoze, heir apparent to the throne. I cannot possibly accept your proposal because it's an act of a prince selling his birthright. I'm sorry I cannot do that. What I get from what you just said is that you value the throne of your land more than me. I am a man who would eventually be king. I do not make empty promises. I appreciate your offer. But I'll certainly not remain here. Don't worry about me, I can find my way home. Do not start what you cannot finish. You belong to me. Accept to stay here with me. And there shall be no need for us to fall apart. Why are you making a case out of nothing? I am not laboring to finish anything with you because I never started anything in the first place. So allow whatever sensation that triggered into you to die. Because it will yield nothing. Don't worry about me, I can find my way back home. Thank you very much. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Evil lady, evil lady, evil lady. All your medicine men have not found any solution because this sickness is anchored in the separation of the body and the spirit. Obufi, please, what do you mean by that? Can you explain to us, please? The prince that came back was not the prince she invoked to her enclaves. The body that is lying before us is absolutely useless because the spirit that moves the body is in Urubeleke with Obana. For the prince to be well again, his spirit must be recovered from her. Let it not be that the prince is dead after all, because that will break my heart. The prince is not dead. What do you have in that camera? Oh, this is the sacred water from sacred Abaka stream. I fetched it from the Abaka stream. A man from Abaka named Dukadike directed me to the stream where I survived the fire and the chase of the dragon. I took the risk for the prince. So let's make him drink this water. He'll be fine.
the prince spirit is somewhere else. It is not all about water, but war! War! Why are you talking as if you don't know the stream from which this water was fetched? The maidens must challenge the evil lady with blue eyes. And you others must fortify them to overcome the terror of blue eyes. Once the caged prince set his eyes on the maidens of his land, he will be well again. And you, don't you ever allow the prince to drink this water. We had enough problems in our hearts already. We don't want to complicate issues. Oh, no. It's amazing that the clothes I arranged for you fit perfectly. I am finally ready. What are the questions you want me to answer? I do know you're a beautiful woman. I also do know we live here together. But my questions are, how did we meet? Are we from the same land? How long have we been here together? It gladdens my heart when you ask these questions. It reminds me, you are still my virgin. Your virgin? What do you mean by that? I don't even know who you are. How do you call me your virgin? Her name is Ifedima. She is the only sister that I have. And I trust her absolutely. I must answer her immediately. A few moments, please. Are these women? How did I even get here? You have been living with this man for one month and you haven't done anything with him. <laughs> I don't understand it. Don't you like him enough to make him grace the woman in you? Say who? Do you know how much energy how much power I spent to invoke him from Obago Silly down to this place. He is my life. I love him with everything in me. <laughs> you love him with everything in you. And yet, you haven't let him touch you at least once. <laughs> I find that difficult to believe. But, I have a solution. I have come to take him to my place and get him ready for you. Ifedima, 
There is nothing you can possibly do. The physical component is lying sick in Obago's silly kingdom. And that sickness is as a result of the separation that I induced. When the two components come together again, it will be fine. Oh, no, no, no. You don't need to spend longer time working on it because I can do it immediately. Ubana, allow me take him to my place and I shall get him ready for you. Not this man. I will not let you have access to him. I'm sure you don't want us fighting because of a man. Ubana, wait. My sister, my friend, I can do what I said. If you need my assistance in any way, do not hesitate to bring him to me. Hmm? <laughs> I shall be waiting. Mice up to something. I wouldn't let her have access to my man. No. I took a great risk to get this water to save the prince, and I believe that once he drinks it, he will get well. Why are you preventing me from giving him the water that will make him well? Osawalo, I'm very sorry. But you listen to know. You heard what he said. They don't believe in your water. So I'm sorry, my prince cannot drink it. You cannot listen to know. Listen to me. You know we value him much more than you know who does. See, every other day, you give instructions and they bring him out there. And he stays there like a vegetable. Are you not bothered that this has been happening over the past month? I am bothered. If I say to you, I am not bothered, I'm lying. I am bothered, but the elders in council are doing everything possible to solve the problem. See, this water may come from Abaka Stream. No problem. But I'm sorry, my prince cannot drink from it. Mbakwe, I suffered to get this water. If the prince dies, his blood will be on your head. So, why will you say it like that? Oh no, who gave an instruction? A specific instruction, and that is what I'm following. See, if you want the prince to drink this water, it will be on one condition. Which is? Go and get Ono. Get him to vacate his order. But as far as this order is still in existence, I'm sorry, I will stick to that. The woman with the blue eyes. What are you doing here? Run for your life. I rule my destiny and you cannot stop me. Stop you from doing what? I heard you are manipulating the police. You better leave here now before I shout. Your spiritual component has been useless to me because you are here. You are living with me to Oruk Baleke today. I need your physical component to consummate it. Who are you and what are you doing here, my friends? Ah! Who are you? What is your mission here? I do not know what you have in you that made you survive the power in the wave. But I am living with the priest today and you cannot stop me.
That's the evil woman with the eye. That the seer spoke about. What's she doing here? There is more to these than meet the eyes. What kind of water was that? And who was that man that my power could not bring down? I am not just any woman that you can scare. I am Ubana. The bright morning star that shines in Uru Peleke. Who are you? Are you for me or are you against me? You are still wet. On the account of my water, I was thrown at you. I came to take my water back. You are not qualified to have my water. Were you the one that gave them the water that burnt hot? Who are you? If you don't want to experience my burning flame, then you must give me your clothes and go back naked. My water cannot go with you to Beleke. Oh, please, you must be joking. What makes you think I would go nude before you? Huh? I am too precious. Too, too precious for a beast like you. Get out of my way. Are you the same with the creature that just poured fire on me? Count yourself lucky you were not consumed by the fire. Who are you? And what are you doing in my territory? I should be the one asking all the questions. I am Egodi, the maiden warrior of Obiagu Osili, where you came to steal the prince of the land. Who gave you the effrontery to come into my territory? Lay no claim for you have no territory. Prince Nadozie is mine. I must have him. Go back and tell that creature that poured fire at me exactly what I said. I must have him or I kill him. Survive the sword first before you look for someone to kill. the prince from this land and she has the effrontery to want to steal him from the palace what kind of revelation is this what kind of woman is this strange woman with blue eyes a lady with the strength of a man I humble myself before you. Ozowala, I have said it to you countless of times that I do not like to be addressed the way you greet me. Forget the fact that our ancestors have given me strength. I am still a woman. Should I decide to get married today, it is men that will give my hand out in marriage. Men must not humble themselves before me. I tell you, with this kind of humility, you will go places. The last time you were here was when 
I killed the leopard that wanted to devour the chief priest. Why are you here? We confronted a strange woman in the palace today. She came to steal the prince. If not for the water I fetched from Apaka stream, which I poured on her, she would have succeeded. I came to tell you, because you are a warrior now. Every warrior should be on a lot. What strange woman? Describe this woman you speak of. She was in white attire, looking angelic. But I tell you, there was nothing angelic about her. From what I saw today, she's evil, deadly. Significantly, she has blue eyes. I've never seen a human with blue eyes before. Blue eyes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Funny? You mean what I've just told you is funny? How? Also, well. Also, well. I appreciate your visit. I shall get to the root of this. Why are you doing this? Why are you looking at me like this? I'm doing everything possible to make you happy and make you smile. Why act as if you do not know what I'm doing? It has nothing to do with you. It's all about me. What do you mean by all about you? How? I believe I am not here. This is not me. I cannot feel myself. You labor day and night to make me happy. But I am not happy because I know I do not belong here. Can't you free me? Who are they? How long did they stay here? And why did you give them attention to brainwash you? I do not know what you're talking about. I asked you a question. Can't you free me? Some people came here in my absence and fed you with lies with which you are confronting me now. Who are they? It is very unfortunate that you have abandoned the issue at hand to chase after shadows. I asked you a question, can't you free me? What do you mean by can't I free you? Are you of the belief that I am holding you down here? I wake up day and night with you. Naturally, we ought to have been bonded as one. But as you know, we are oceans apart. I believe I do not belong here. I also believe you have the powers to free me. Please, free me. I <laughs> <laughs> I don't bag go silly, Odogu. Most times when I look at you, I wonder why you came out a woman. The blood that flows in you is simply the blood of a warrior. It shall be well with you. It is well with you too, Monisi. But I am not here to be praised. I am here to find out the meaning of the revelation I had earlier. Does that strange woman with blue eyes have anything to do with the sickness that has befallen the prince? Egodi, 
Oh no, and council of elders know that I want to see. Ukosisi on the money sooner for can be trusted when it comes to spiritual empires. They undermined me. They went round this kingdom, went to all the medicine men in this kingdom, yet they found no solution. They proceeded to Agobu to fetch a wafi, Udenabwana, who came and compounded the problem. What do you mean by he compounded the problem? Egodi. That thing lying sick in the palace is not the prince. It's just the body. The prince is in a secluded, weird compound in Urupeleke, hoping for the day you will come for his rescue. The day I will come for his rescue? What do you mean by I will come for his rescue? Had it been they allowed him to drink the water the warrior fetched from Abaka stream, that would have saved you the trauma of going to Urubeleke. He poured it on her to save him, and that ended the possibility of getting healing from that water. So what is the way forward? The prince will get better, Egodi. His caged spirit is waiting to set eyes on you and other maidens from this kingdom. Egodi, that woman with blue eyes will finally kill the prince out of frustration if you don't go for his rescue. I will talk again when I see the men. Who are these men? Egodi, those men that undermined me. Those same men that went to Agupi to fetch a way few than a one to come to solve a problem they know I can handle. Egodi, you have done your own part as a good woman. The men will take it up from where you stopped or the prince will die. Mon, you see, you know I can be very stubborn when it comes to things like this. Do not push me away like nobody because I will not leave until everything is clarified. Egodi, what more do you want to know? I see war looming, and I have been asking myself, why are you so interested in mere mortals? It is my personal life, and I do not like it when people like you start discussing me without information of my true feelings. Are you sure you still remember where you are sitting? You are sitting before the Almighty Kinga in the tree temple. Of course I know where I am and I know you very well, Ikenga. I also know the kind of man that I want. He is the one that I have already invoked from Obaaguo City. I want to make him mine. I need to merge his spirit and his body so he can be of use to me. Please. 
I need you to help me achieve this. You are not a woman. In the real sense of the word, you are half human and half spirit. But if you so desire a man, then you must look at men like us, who are of the same spiritual dimension with you. Why are you doing this, Ikenga? Why? I have already told you before that you cannot have me. I expected that you would have stopped. I also cannot have anything to do with the God of Iron anymore because he constantly treats me like a sex slave. I need a man who would understand my feelings and treat me like a woman. That is the man I already have. All I ask of you is please, assist me to achieve this. The dragon of the sacred Apaka stream is interested in the man you have for he is in agreement with his father and he would do everything spiritually possible to prevent you from having him if you would take my advice free that young man and cage another i am sorry ikenga but that will not be possible he is the one that i want and i'm ready to do anything Anything to make him mine. I see the maidens of Obago City coming for their prince. But eventually, you would seek for help. But help will be far away from you. Do not box yourself into that tight corner, Ubana. Free the prince and cage another. I do not need another. He is the one that I want. Ikenga, please. What must I do to make him mine completely? Very well then. You shall use all the powers within your disposal. To prevent the maidens from coming here. You must prevent the prince from setting his eyes upon the maidens. For once he sees them, your grip on him will disappear and he will join forces with them. However, you can stop this from happening by making sure that the prince does not see them. Oh, wait, oh, gee, wait, and... <clears throat> this is you. Um, good. A maiden like you that killed a leopard that wanted to devour the chief priest with bare hands. You are surely more man than most men. You are qualified to eat cola nut, you do know. As one of the Obuagos of Obago Sili. I allowed you to conclude your protocol of presentation and breaking of cola nut because I do not want to interfere in Onoru's cultural display. But I am not here for cola nut. You sound tough. So why are you here? You summoned all the native doctors in the land regarding the strange ailment that befell the prince. Why didn't you summon Monisi? <sighs> to be very sincere with you, I don't believe in Monisi. Why? Good. You are no Buhago in this land. And I believe that you know what most of these medicine men do. Monisi may be very powerful to some people. But to me, he's not. I appreciate the fact that you have called me an Obuago. It only means that you acknowledge the fact that I am not an ordinary maiden of this land. But I will tell you the truth. The prince is still ill as we speak because you have neglected mourning. I don't believe this. Could that possibly be what mourning told you? Anyway.
Very good. Very good. Yay! Go in, Eba. I know who you are! My only enemy in the world! I brought you here! Why are you starting an unnecessary war? The priest has told you the way forward. Mind you caged and look for another you can cage for your sexual pleasure. Why have you decided not to do that? I cannot be intimidated! Show yourself! And tell me why you are interfering with my affairs! The war has been perfected in the spiritual. The evil woman with blue eyes has beaten more than she can chew. He came to me when I was alone in my place. Now, it has come again as I sat with you. It may be coincidence, but this coincidence is good for me. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? I ask again. Why are you here? Why are you interfering with what I am doing in my territory? You were constantly throwing fire at me. And why would you free a girl that I spent so much energy to invoke? You will never be able to invoke her again. I'm now involved in this because his father once made the very zenith of sacrifices in my stream. I vow to protect his children. And what is my business with what you have with a dead man? That man you are holding is the son of the same man I made a promise to. Release him to go and select a wife and be crowned king. Or I shall have reason to frustrate you to your second death. You are a liar! I know what you represent. You have been demystified. The highest you can do is throw fire at me. But you can see, your fire had no impact just now. Do not rely on what your priest told you because he does not even know me. You fail to do as I said. I shall uproot this tree. When this tree goes, you shall not have any useless place where someone gives you fake hope. Of all the men in the world, I chose him. I spent so much energy to invoke him. Just to satisfy my pleasure. Why are 
becoming tired. Though we elevated her because of what she did, which most men couldn't have done, she is still a woman. Oh no, you finally came here to see me because a woman asked you to come and see me. Ah, money is because it's your money is not for. Oh no, you undermined me. Ah, I'm a bad guy. Monisi, please, forgive us for whatever it is you believe we must have done wrong. Oh, don't get on you. Biko, bye. Uh, we did not uh, undermine you by going to bring Ubuefi Udenebona from Agoku. No, we did everything to save the prince. But now that it has dawned on us that you are better than what we thought. The dragon of Akka regretted attacking the warrior that went to fetch water from his stream. Had it been he knew whom the water was meant for, the dragon wouldn't have attacked Ozawaru. On his own, the dragon has volunteered to help a god. What we need to do now is to fortify her for the journey. Do you mean to say that our maidens must travel to Rubeleke in search of the prince? Obwe few the neighbor said so and that was the only thing he got right. Oh no, would the battle ahead is strictly for the maidens. Men have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Oh no, there must be some maidens in this kingdom that will be willing to go and fight for the emancipation of our prince. Oh no, Ego must be that. And they must leave immediately. Immediately. So whatever that needs to be done, start it immediately. What the man they brought from Agoku explained to them is exactly what Monisi explained to us. We are the ones to rescue the prince. An evil woman with blue eyes is holding his spirit captive in the land of Ubele. The only way to bring him back is by appearing there ourselves. The moment he sets his eyes on the maidens of this land, whatever spirit that holds him captive when you talk of appearing in Ubeleke, are you saying you want us to travel to that land? Exactly. We are going to travel to the land. We have a problem with that. Hey, good. From the way you're sounding, it's obvious you know nothing about Ubeleke. Ubeleke is a land beyond the dreaded Ujaba River. It used to be home to witches and evil powers. It is a journey of horror. It is a journey we must embark on. Saving the prince is paramount. That we must do. I kept asking myself, what was the prince doing there in the first place to have the evil woman cage him? I don't know. He had no business there. He didn't go there on his own. He was on his own in the palace when she used her evil powers to invoke him. The okay. woman we're talking about is really, really and we need superb insight. Why are you twisting this whole thing? We are talking about a powerful woman here. A woman who possibly wines and dines with the evil spirits that live beyond the Java River. Why then do you want to expose the maidens of this land to such a risk? What's the call? Neka, what you refer to as risk in this land could mean a way of life in another man's land. Only means prison has no meaning. I don't want us to be stuck here. 
making arguments and asking a lot of questions. I want us to go back home. Sleep over this. Come tomorrow. I shall be here waiting for anyone who wants to get back on this journey. But if I see no one tomorrow, I shall go on my own. I am used to doing things alone. They were beautiful maidens. Maidens of my land. Looking so glorious, asking me to come. Standing in the fire. Why are you encouraging them? Why in the world would you leave your position of power to attend to some maidens without my consent? There is something about those maidens. Something that connected me to them. The same connection I can never have whenever I'm with you. When can I see them again? What you saw was a mirage. Something that had no meaning. Something that was to distract you from the peace and happiness that you would get when we finally bond. Forget them. I can never forget those maidens. Their mission here was a success that left an instant impression in me. Tell me, am I not gorgeous? Hmm? Am I not Beautiful. Look at me. Am I not made in the caliber of queens? <laughs> Make one move and experience the sensation of a woman of power. What is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you trying to seduce my man? A queen mani fedima na kubanyoto. I believe you know what that means, my dear. Our man is the man. And it is our duty to make him the man. <sighs> my friend thinks I am seducing you. But she's wrong. I am not seducing you because you are mine. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Do you want me to kill you finally? Both of you are the same. Those maidens are totally different from you. They said nothing to me, but we instantly bonded. We instantly connected. But you have been throwing everything at me. But the man in me has refused to respond. I do not belong here. I do not belong here. That hasn't answered my question. Onye. Yes. Ego already said if nobody volunteers to travel with her, that she's ready to travel alone. I mean, we all know who Ego is. She will do just that. 
Omalicha. You're not saying anything. You know Faye Kili here does not know what risk involved in this. And she has to be educated. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes? If you ask me, I would say you're moving too fast. I am moving too fast? Yes. What do you mean by that? Look, Egudi asked us to sleep over it and make a decision by tomorrow morning. I see the sense in that advice and I think we should do just that. Well, by tomorrow morning, we shall know who is traveling and who is not. Is that clear to you? Come on. You pushed me because I was using my powers to bring out the man in him. I don't understand it. Does it mean you don't need me? Huh? Can you do this alone? Iferima, you weren't using your powers. You were seducing him, and that is not right. So, by that statement, are you implying that you don't need me? Ubana, come out clear and say it. I never said I can do this all alone. I need you. But you have to stop throwing yourself at him. He is my man. And even if you must have him, do me the honor to take him first. To tell you the truth, I am not so bothered about who takes him first or last. <laughs> the important thing is that we have him here to ourselves. But to make him useful, we have to locate where his body is in Obergo City and bring it here. His body is what we need. I already did that and got exposed to evil water that nearly killed me. He is a prince and has lots of things protecting him. Hmm. If that's the case, we have to open up to Ikenga. He is the one to guide us. I have been to Ikenga and he has told me what to do. What then did he tell you? He said they are coming for him and I must stop them from entering this land. Ikenga told you that. What then are we waiting for? We should be planning on how to embark on this journey. Ubana, you know that I, Ifedima, do not believe in sitting to defend. I believe in attacking my opponents. And I'm sure that's what Ikenga wants us to do. Traveling to stop them is not the problem. Knowing the exact route with which they will follow is the problem. And that is why I haven't made any move yet. You know, when I decided to keep quiet in the meeting, it doesn't mean that I didn't know what to say. I simply waited for Ikodi to know what she was planning. So, now that the meeting has ended, what have you decided? She's bothered about the prince. And she has made a legitimate call. I believe we should save the prince. I can't believe this. Are you saying you're going to Irukoleke with her? Definitely. Do you have any problem with that? Eh? Count me out, too. Heh, like a wait. Moni C has already confirmed to Egodi that the millions of this land must go to Uwekoleke and save the prince. The other man they brought from Agoku said the same thing to the elders in council. When you say we should count you out, does it mean that the life of the prince doesn't mean anything to you? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to put words in my mouth. And I will not allow that to happen. Well, she said you should sleep over it. As for me, I will not sleep over it because I have something important to do with my life. Nee, o. Good night. Neka has just disappointed me. Will you chicken out too? Iruka, you know me much more than that. 
I am not Lily Livard. If I were in trouble, the prince would come for me. So now that he's in trouble, I will go for him. That's the spirit. <laughs> Our ancestors shall guide you as you embark on this glorious journey. Yes. Our kingdom has no king as we speak, and we all know the implication of that. The prince would have selected any of you as wife, and by now he would have been crowned king. But the evil woman with the blue eyes hijacked it. Now you have the blessings of our ancestors to embark on this journey. And whatever woman it is that has blue eyes and lives in Urupeleke has no right to hold our crown prince and heir apparent to the throne. You will go and bring back the prince and his caged spirit so that we can have a king. May our ancestors guide you. The maidens are ready for this journey. The elders should continue to pray for us. As our ancestors guide us, we promise we will not disappoint. I volunteer to take you to the boundary between us and the real people. From there, you find your way to Njaba River. Ozawalu, we shall be fine. You are a warrior, so am I. I am familiar with the nooks and crannies of this kingdom and its surroundings. Thank you. Listen, Ozawalu, you should stop underestimating a good. Because I don't think it is right. Thank you, Ndiojiani. May the gods continue to be with us. you insist on what I suggested. The fact that she's killed a leopard doesn't mean that she's not still a woman. I don't think we should stay and be arguing here. Whatever guide it is you want to give to the maidens, Mwanisi has already been commissioned to fortify them for this journey. And he's going to go and meet them at the border. Okay? To assist in a war. Assist in a war you can explain. Do not allow yourself to be caught in an empty war. Wait! What do you mean by an empty war? I mean the war you have accepted to go into. The war to have what is not yours. That young man is under my protection. Do him no harm. Or you shall have me to contend with. Need a man, go to another. That one that is under my protection has to be freed. You listen to me. I don't care what your interest is, in but I am one to stay far, far away from us. I 
بدون خوشی There must be something about that young man. That's why so many forces are coming for him. <laughs> I must have that boy. I must know what he has that they want to deny me of. of delegations traveling to Rupelek after all. You really want me to die? Why are you talking as if you're not my mother? What do you mean? Mama, even if every other person in this village wants me to die, not my own mother, I'll be the one to bury you when you die. I'm the only one you have. Hmm. And I, I am of utmost importance to you, Mama. Yes, I know. That's the truth. But why are you saying this? I don't know why my own mother wants me to embark on a dangerous journey. I believe I deserve more than this. Dangerous journey? My dear, what makes this dangerous? Does it mean my daughter is not as intelligent as I had always believed? Before my father died, he once told me of Uruk Meleke. Apart from Igod, who will all know her level when it comes to acquisition of powers, all other maidens have no power. And I believe they will all die. Mama, I don't want to die. I once had a dream where the prince came asking for your hand in marriage. And I have always believed that this will happen one day. Now you ruined everything. How? Mama, if the prince was destined to be my husband, we would surely meet. I don't know why you said I, I ruined everything. The prince is not an ingrate. If those maidens succeed on their mission to save the prince, he will choose his wife from death. People like you that never bother to save him will not be considered. I got a book. You see, I can't book. Look, why? You see, I can't book. You see, I can't book. Isi kalaka ne bogi. Isi kalaka ne bogi. Mukwa, mukwa, mukwa. Hmm? Mo ni si. Oke mo. Hmm? O kwa kana to ka jomo ne kwa jomo ne kwa. Manasi na gwa nyai si. 
This is spiritual hand. Akupem mo. This farm, the masquerade uses it to trace its way. I am handing you over this hand farm. Akupem mo, because I regard you as a warrior. Yes, you are the leader of this group and this mission. Handle it with care. Look into it. It shall lead you to Rupelake. Akupe Mo shall lead you to As a warrior. Odogu, Odogu Mwai. Mo Nisi, on behalf of these young women, that have come out to embark on this journey with me. I say thank you. You have demonstrated that you are a true man of this kingdom and our ancestors will always be with you. We will not disregard your wise counsel. Thank you again. <laughs> My daughters, our ancestors, I'll lead all of you in your path. You may go now. Is this not my end? Is this not my end? How can I suddenly go blind? Who is doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? Time like this. How can I get my sight back? How can I get my sight back? What would you want to see if I give you back your sight? Ever since I have been trapped in this strange land. This is the first time I'm hearing the voice of a man! Who are you? Who are you? That is not the answer to the question. If I give you back your sight, what would you want to see? I know you're very close to me! And I know you are looking at me right now!
If I get my sight back, I would surely want to see you. Where you are. I made him blind because I don't want him to see them when they come. That is not what I told you. Use your powers to prevent them from coming near where he is. I do not know where they are coming from. That is why I have not embarked on a journey to stop them. If Fedima is even ready to assist me, but we don't know where to go. Spend just half the energy you spent to invoke the prince of Obago Sili and you will know exactly where they are. Stop continuing to disappoint the goddess of the sea that made you one of our apostles. I saved you from her blindness because I know you need your sight. You said you would like to see me. You saw me and finally started to run. Why did you run? And where are you running to? I don't know what to call you, but I'm surprised you're the one talking to me. This is the very first time I've seen a creature talk to me in form of a man. I'm very sorry for running away. It would happen again. I'm doing all these because of your father who made the zenith of sacrifices in my shrine. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? ocean under the world a place where your fire shall have no effect you will remain here until i have fulfilled my destiny i have nothing against your destiny my problem is that you are caging a man that has his own destiny and i want you to free the man free him to go and you can pursue your destiny with another man I cannot free him because he is my destiny. I will give birth to a child that will rule the world. And that man that you want to wrestle off my hands will father that child. That man over there cannot father a child through you because you are cursed. You are a fallen angel and you cannot ruin a man who is under my custody. I have an affiliation with the goddess under the sea. This is my territory and you cannot ruin my happiness. I am not affiliated to a god, or I am a god myself. Free that young man before the stream will swallow the ocean. The stream? Swallow the ocean? What does that mean? It will happen suddenly and you will discover that a small stream that has a source is mightier than the sea that has no source and has no taste. 
Oh, please, tell that to the birds. Who's there? Who's there? I can hear a sound. The creature was talking to me a while ago and suddenly the ground opened before my eyes and this creature sank into it and I went blind and now that you're here the ground is closed and I have regained my sight there's a whole lot I cannot reconcile are you saying I have something to do with the creature you saw I should be the one asking you that question because it is certain you know a lot. So tell me, what do you have with that creature? I haven't accepted knowing the creature you're talking about. So why would you ask me what I have to do with it? What? Why are you looking at me like that? By all standards, you're a very beautiful woman. The sun rises and sets in your eyes. But I do not know why it's too difficult for a bond to be created between us. Or do you know why yourself? Is there something you're not telling me? Soon, you shall cease to be a virgin, and then everything shall be clear. Soon. These days, things are happening in Akwaka Kingdom, and I am tempted to say, you no longer love our people. You are the God of Akwaka and we look up to you for protection. Why are we facing difficulties? And our God is nowhere to be found. For three uninterrupted days, I have come to you to talk with you. You will not answer me. I was wondering if you have abandoned us to die. Was a man that came here and made the zenith of sacrifices. An evil woman has finally caged a son. It's my duty to free that son of his. I've been involved in that. Go back and tell the people that Akpaka is safe. Take your word on that. You have my words already. The son of a king is not even supposed to go missing in a foreign land. We are not talking of just any king. We are talking of a king that submitted under my authority and humbly asked for my protection. Even as I am working for him now, tell my people that I have not abandoned them. Akbaka is safe. Thank you.
Money is for the of our land. The power in Britain. Many of our land. What do I honor this visit? I came to make an inquiry. First time I will be asking you for something. I have never asked you for anything. Please, do this for me. Do not turn me down. I beg you. Engage other men. I will go with you. And I shall ignite the smoke to start another process. All through my life, I have walked alone. How then can you say I cannot go on this alone? I want to embark on this trip alone. Neka. Egodi. The maiden that killed a leopard with her bare hands said she cannot embark on this journey alone. She went with five maidens because she can't go alone. What makes you think you can go alone? That looks like where he lives. I think I like this place. I think I like this place. That giant is going to kill that woman. It's just my concern. From what I saw, I don't think he can kill her. Why? Because she's a giant too. And I believe they know each other. This place looks like a place we can rest. Let's, let's rest. Don't sit! Don't sit. This is a very controversial land. Land of spears. What do you mean? The land of spears. One of you with a sacrifice to please the god of spare. You have ten seconds. Or the spares will kill the whole of you. you girls what have you done to this place and what are you doing here that should have been the first question to ask us you saved the best for the last 
Now I am saying, leave the road for us to pass. <laughs> do you know who you are talking to? We do not want to know. Just the same way you refused to ask who we were before you started to attack us. I will prove to you today that Amabunoke is a warrior that has never lost a battle. Kill me! You cannot! You cannot kill me! You have lost your inner eyes. You cannot see anymore. I am the one you need to see beyond the physical. And if you kill me, is that what you think? Is that why you ruin my chances of picking a new wife? You are not worthy of life. Is You again? Where did you come from? Just because she is of the same size as you, you chose her ahead of me, forgetting the things we did together. Now she has blinded your physical eyes. You are useless in the occult. What do I do with you now? I know that voice. My one and only Obana. The bright morning star of Rubeleke. I do not know what you are about to say. But before you say more, I wish to remind you that old friends are better than new ones. You are singing, oh Bulusa. You of all people should know that I am definitely not the kind of woman that you can buy with your cheap rhetoric. I came here because I want you to stop some useless maidens from entering into my territory. Those maidens, you call them useless. They are not useless. They are armed with the power of death. And I doubt if they can be stopped. You sound as if you have seen them. And they have already overpowered you. If I must say anything more, you must restore my sight. I wonder what that creature was that saved us. It looked like a god to me. Hmm? Have you seen a god before? Come on, Iruka, you don't need to ask that. That creature looked like a god to me. <laughs> You scare us when you look around that way. Are we in danger? Shh. Something really, really evil is lurking around us. I can't see it, but it is very, very close. Hey. I don't know why I made myself part of this journey. You're scaring me. Shut up, oh yeah, shut up. I will cut, and I will cut recklessly. It is better you show yourself right now, or stand the chance of being cut into pieces with this anike that was passed on to me from generations of warriors. Show yourself! I 
came to you in peace. I never wanted to hurt any of you. Because you didn't do anything to me. Why did you attack me? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I, I acted in self-defense. I, I thought you came to harm us. Please. Please forgive me. Please. I'm begging you. Please forgive me. We may only ask the travel to Rupeleke to save our prince. We never need to be like this. We are virgins as we stand before you now. And we can swear on our virgin blood that we've never murdered any human before. Please, please free us. If you permit us, we shall return to our land. And we will not mention this to anybody. No. No. A goody that you just buried in this hole is our leader. We are helpless without her. Please. I said you are warriors. No, we are not warriors. We are maidens from Obago, Osli. We are traveling to save our prince from the grip of an evil woman. Please save us. Don't harm us. Ego did that just went on her. She's the only living warrior we have in Obago, Osli. She had killed a leopard before. And all the men in Obiago City freely discuss masquerade with her. Please. And you have seen the way she ended. That is why we're begging you. That is why we're begging you. Please, please. We do not want to go under just like her. Please free us. There is a temple called the Altar of Peace. My twin brother is the priest in that temple. Your colleague is there now. How she handles my twin brother. Yeah. How she handles my twin brother shall decide your fate. I shall meet you when I shall meet you. I shall meet you when I shall meet you. I shall meet you. Why do I have this feeling that you don't have respect? That is where you are wrong. Because I am a woman with a good sense of respect. Your brother made an explanation when he finally appeared and I understood I made a mistake. I went down on my knees, I apologized but he refused to listen. Instead, he brought me to this temple. And I'm telling you, you must be sacrificed on this altar today. It's to be what you say. And what do you mean by that? I have just said you are a big liar. You stand on my altar of peace and you call me a liar? You call this altar of doom an altar of peace? Where you sacrifice gullible maidens? The greatest mistake you've just made is bringing me here. It is better you let me go now, else... Else what? <laughs> Do you, in any way, have affiliation with a shocking power? I am leaving this temple right now. Do not make any other move. blood of my brother that you killed what makes you think you will leave this forest alive I did not kill your brother I warned him but he will not listen I know the value of blood go and bury your brother I do not want to kill both of you they already told me that you once killed a leopard I will Let's go! 
you are the one that put me in this mess. You made me lose my inner sight. Now I cannot see anything anymore. Remember I met you blind. You were blinded by the same Okwama that you called your glory. I gave you back your sight because you asked for it. Of what use is the physical sight to a spiritual man? Restore my inner sight and I will help you track those evil maidens. I am only a woman, an apostle of the goddess of the sea. I am not the goddess to assist in the restoration of your inner sight. Yes, you are not a goddess, but you are the lead apostle to a prominent goddess. And she has taken you to metaphysical functions where you wind and dine with great powers in sacred places. Use that position to restore my inner sight. I should restore your useless inner sight so you can start seeing me naked again even when I am dressed. It won't happen. Why am I even talking to you? I know where you can find those maidens. Where? Restore my inner sight and the information is yours. I stayed back because I was thinking your cycle would change when she's gone. I do not understand what you mean by my cycle will change when she's gone. Do you mean to say you don't know what a man and a woman do together, alone? All I know is I am not me. Both of you are holding me here. I strongly believe you can solve my problems. Why don't you go ahead and solve it? Don't tell me you don't feel anything at all. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I feel I am not me. I feel something is missing in me. I feel both of you are manipulating me. Look at me. Look at me as a woman and tell me you don't feel like holding me, grabbing me, caressing me, making me feel like a complete woman. Tell me. I have told you all I feel. Those glorious maidens I saw beckoning on me in that ministration. Will I ever see them again? I am doing everything possible to make you feel like a man. And you are thinking of other maidens. You are just impossible. 